In our previous videos, we completed three of the four statements. The statement of earnings, the statement of changes in equities, and the statement of financial position. We're now going to complete the final statement of cash flows. The statement of cash flows is divided into three activities, operating, investing, and financing. Be sure to watch my video on business activities in order to clearly understand the division between these three activities. This is critical for appropriately completing the statement of cash flows. The statement of cash flows can be completed in two different ways. One is the direct method and the other is the indirect method. IFRS prefers the use of the direct method, but approximately 1% of all companies use the direct method and the remainder use the indirect method. However, because it is preferred by IFRS, right now we're going to cover the direct method for the statement of cash flows. As always, we read the question, Orange Corporation preparing annual financial statements, following data, cash flows, developed, year ended, December 31st, 2018, and then they give us a listing. We need to denote for each of these items two things, whether it's an inflow or an outflow, and whether it goes into operating, investing, or financing activities. Let's get to it. Cash inflow from operating revenues. So we know right away that this belongs in operating activities and it's an inflow, so it's a plus. Cash expended for operating expenses. Now we know expended means an outflow and this is operations. Sale of shares for cash, 30,000. The sale of shares goes under financing activities and this is a sale, so what did we get? We got cash inflow. Cash dividends declared and paid. The word paid is very important. It means an outflow of cash. Dividends are part of financing activities. Payments on long-term borrowing. That's an outflow and borrowing means financing activities. During the year, land was sold. So if land was sold, we gave away the land and we got the cash. So that's an inflow. Land is part of investing. So that's part of investing activities. 38,000 cash was expended for equipment. Again, we've invested in the company. And in this case, we spent money to purchase equipment, so it's an outflow. The beginning of the year cash balance was 63,000. We know we're trying to calculate the ending of year balance for the cash flow statement. Required, prepare a statement of cash flows in good form using the direct method. Let's get started. As always, we start the statement with the name of the company then the name of the statement, then the period of time that the statement covers. Similar to the statement of earnings and the statement of changes in equity, the statement of cash flows covers a period of time and it must be denoted as such. We always start with cash flows from operating activities because operating activities are the only sustainable source of cash. Sustainable means it will generate cash well into the future. We start with the cash collected from the customers then the cash paid for operating expenses. Notice that negative amounts are denoted with brackets. That's the last item for operating activities, so now we have the net cash flow, either provided or used by operating activities. It will be provided if the number is positive and used if the number is negative. In this case, the total of these two amounts is 90,000. That means cash is provided by operating activities and that's what we'll put in the subtotal. Now let's move on to investing activities. We have two line items under here. Cash received from the sale of the land. Inflow. Next is the cash paid for the equipment purchase. The net amount is negative. In that case, we have net cash flow used in investing activities. Moving on to financing activities. Remember that we received cash because of the sale of the company's shares. We also repaid a portion of our long-term debt. And finally, we paid cash for dividends. The net amount is an outflow. Net cash flow used in financing activities. What's at the bottom of the statement of cash flows? We first do the total of the three amounts. 90,000 minus 23,000 minus 72,000 tells us if there's been a net increase or decrease in cash. 
Here we have a net decrease in cash of $5,000. Next, cash at the beginning of the year, which we know was 63000 Finally, cash at the end of the year, 58000 That's it for the statement of cash flows. Remember to start with the appropriate heading, in that order. Then always start with the cash flows from operating activities. Operating activities, remember, are the only sustainable source of cash. Move on to cash flow from investing activities. And then finally, cash flow from financing activities. In the end, we must have a net change in cash. When combined with the opening balance from the beginning of the year, the net change in cash will always result in the cash balance at the end of the year. This number will always tie in to the cash amount that's on the Statement of Financial Position under Current Assets. What is the purpose of the Statement of Cash Flows? The purpose is to show cash receipts, inflows, and cash payments, outflows, to the users of the financial statements. These inflows and outflows are further classified into the three activities of operating, investing, and financing. The information is used by creditors and investors to indicate the ability of the entity to generate cash and how the funds are being used. This can help a creditor assess the entity's ability to service debt, pay interest, and repay the loan at maturity. It indicates to the investors if the company will have enough cash to continue to expand in the future as well as pay dividends. The statement of cash flows is particularly important because cash is king. A company may have a healthy net earnings on the statement of earnings, but unless they are managing their cash appropriately, the company will likely fail. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.